on the at five, a new debate over cell phones in the classroom. Should they be allowed? Lancaster County schools are looking at changing their policies as they say phones have caused cheating on tests, cyberbullying, and much more. Yeah, the biggest complaints come from teachers who are concerned about the disruption of class by phone use. WCNC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is taking a look at what the schools are doing. Plenty of parents give their kids cell phones these days, whether it's for safety or convenience. But whether those cell phones have any business going with them to school and into the classrooms, that's the conversations that they're having right now here in Lancaster. Once the school bell rings, the ringing doesn't always stop. Teachers complaining phones are now too much of a distraction. Students using cell phones to cheat, text their friends, check their social media, or bully the other kids around them. Because they do create problems. Lancaster County now considering putting stricter limits on when kids can and cannot use cell phones. Right now, phones are supposed to be unseen and unheard. But some schools in the county allow students to use them. Some cases, it's a confusing class-by-class -class decision. And if you go into one high school in a history class, it needs to be the same in another history class in another school because what we're having is an inconsistency and it sends a bad message to our kids. We talked to parents and as expected, reaction was mixed. It's a need, period, as soon as they step on ground. But leave them home. It doesn't belong in school. So they're not concentrating on their education at all. Because I have a high schooler. So I do enjoy being able to know in an emergency that I can get to him. Lancaster County says they may craft a policy that allows cell phone use at certain times of day. But you want kids to be able to talk to their parents before school and after school and maybe even during the lunchtime. And anytime there's an emergency. It's a different era we live in. But when it comes to the classroom. The only way that you can get to the point of, of, of not interrupting class is to say, we're not going to have them out, period, during this time period. When the problem in the schools was at its worst, the district was confiscating 900 phones a year. They're hoping that with this new policy, it will reduce how many times they're actually having to take the phones away. Reporting in Lancaster, I'm Tanya Mendes, WCNC Charlotte.